so i was reading the alchemist a very 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 nice book so what is an alchemist you might be wondering so it is who is an alchemist so as someone who can actually convert anything into gold so i thought even if i read this book so even i'll know how to convert anything into gold i can become rich but uh, this book taught me something more a wonderful book but i'm not here to talk about the book alchemist but about science so what is alchemy who are alchemists so do you actually think we can convert anything into gold so people has done it so it's just magic or is there actual science behind it who started it how did they do it right there are so many questions related to alchemy so that word excites us makes us curious so let us try to learn something about the alchemy how can you actually convert anything into gold Here, master teacher of chemistry at Vedantu. Welcome to another very interesting session. So it says how to convert anything into gold. But don't you think there should be a question mark? How to convert? Can we actually convert? Who converted it? How did they do it? Right. So these are the questions which we must have asked ourselves or to others whenever we hear this word alchemy or an alchemist. So let us try to find out the answers for these questions. So at the end of the session, you will know the answers, or you will start looking around to find out the answers. Okay. But before that, if you want to take up the pro subscription, why, how? Yes. Let me tell you. So you must be facing few problems, right, related to online education, like doubts are not getting solved, notes, uh, you're not getting the notes, or you don't know how to write. um how to answer a question in the examination hall tests and assignments are very much important of course on youtube so i cannot conduct a test so all these problems and there is one stop solution for all of your needs what is it vedanta pro subscription then all you have to do is just visit the link and or you know you can even go to vdnt.in/ytpro both are okay choose your grade board click on to the get subscription if you use the coupon code surpro you will get additional 20% discount from my side so as a bonus you will be getting free more than 5000 micro courses crash courses which are very much important and helpful for your competitive exams and board exams too yes less is more that is if you uh, you have two options right one month or three months so if you take up the three month Three months का subscription, so more classes, less price. That is how it is. Yes, the coupon code is S U R P R O. But our main point, let's come back to that. How to convert anything to gold? Then why are we not doing it? If I knew the answer, I would have been a billionaire by now. Yeah. So, philosophers too. What is it? Oh wait, we have heard about it. we know the stone harry potter but no so alchemists they said that it was um believe that they had a stone called as philosopher's stone which can convert anything into gold yes and there was this one tablet which was um, prepared by geber who was a very famous alchemist so that would guide people how to make a philosopher stone and how to convert anything into gold but the problem was they have written there are lots of books on alchemy but the problem was we are not able to understand because either it will be completely filled of pictures or they have used some code words like you know if they have mentioned lead it could mean something else like silver or gold we are not sure so that is the reason we are still assuming things we are still questioning things because we are not sure what they have done because they wanted to keep it a secret 
they wanted to just pass it on maybe to only the close circle it has been written in a code language you know there is the sentence the wind blow over the marriage of moon and saturn what does it even mean right how are we supposed to decode it and understand the actual meaning and the actual procedure what did they even do to convert something into gold so that makes it very interesting according to me so let us see what what exactly is alchemy alchemist what did they do so alchemy is the science by the study of which some material is converted into completely different materials generally basically gold okay under certain conditions conditions also it should be maintained so what does it mean alchemy so all it's an uh, arabic prefix that is the chemia is egypt it could mean the black land but we are not sure but most of the words you know chemistry alchemy and all that it has been derived from that language you could find alchemists everywhere okay asian con continent yes africa yes egypt yes but their focuses were on different fields that is our indian alchemists they focused on medicine and uh, the china one so they were tied up to the earth like you know they wanted to know how it works so they even believed that it is a single living organism so there were differences among alchemists also and there were few people who looked down to the alchemy so that is the reason you know we don't talk about it so there is no proper um you know separate branch of science how we say physics chemistry but you know alchemy is basically chemistry and medicine that's what we can say so alchemy the art of egypt so thoth he is considered as the father and founder of alchemistry so as i told you this hermes he has written a book corpus hermi tikum but it is filled with images so it is very difficult to know what is actually written so the alchemists they believe that everything aid may is made of four basic things fire air like the earth and water so they believe that okay if everything every matter every stuff is made of only it's a mixture of these four then it is very easy to turn anything into anything else but just by just tweaking the ingredients right only the composition may there must be difference we we'll just change it so i should be able to get anything from anything that's what they believed but you know alchemy is not only magic so there are lot of different reactions they have done so alchemists you know like you can summarize it as so alchemists are very smart people like philosophers who were not sure of what they were doing but they followed the exact procedures and they actually converted something into something the results were so astonishing was so um interesting that they couldn't just keep themselves from doing it so in um uh, order to find themselves and about the earth or how everything works around them so they were completely lost that's what how that's how you can summarize it's so lovely right yes it is beautiful so alchemists are the people who tries to convert something into gold so how exactly can we do it so is there any word in the science which we are studying about it now yes transmutation so transmutation is how you can it's a process in which you can convert an element into another element maybe by uh, nuclear emission or the radioactive decay so if we look at um, the different elements see so atomic number different hai you know we have isotopes we have isobars we have isotones but the proton number is always different right if an atom if two atoms have different proton numbers then they belong to different elements then can we change the proton number that's the question right so alpha decay se ho sakta hai transmutation is it possible let's go to that before that chryso here is basically the ability to transform any substance into pure gold 
so nuclear fusion nuclear fission we all know what it is right fusion fission in simple words but using that do you think we can convert an element into another element so this is a question which i am posing so will you let me know, know the answers in the comment section is transmutation possible people tell me the answer yes or no yes how no why not think about it so mercury 80 gold 79 only one proton ka difference can we actually get mercury gold from mercury can we actually convert mercury to gold or lead into gold or bismuth to gold so what the scientist glenn he says that in order to conduct this experiment it would cost more than one quadrillion dollars per ounce to produce gold by this particular experiment it costs a lot so is it worth it so is that the reason why we are not talking a lot about alchemy so do let me know the answer in the comment section so how did you like it so did you actually learn something new uh, because you know if yes if you are actually curious to learn more about this then you will find zillions of articles on alchemy alchemists so it's a wonderful world you know you will just enter a wonderful world of science so i would actually want you to um, go read a lot about all these things and let me know in the comment section if you are also curious about one particular topic which rarely someone talks about or if you have a question in your head which you are trying to figure out the answer for then i would be more than happy to find if i know i'll tell you otherwise i will make sure to find an answer and i'll come back to you thank you so much for uh, watching the session so if you liked it do not forget to give us the thumbs up that is like the session subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends also so they will know whether you can convert gold or any metal into gold thank you so much if you want to take up the pro subscription all you have to do is visit the link in the description and in the pinned comment um, you will find the link or you can go to vdnt.in slash ytpro use the coupon code s-u-r-p-r-o for additional 20 percent discount come on come on take up the pro subscription and join us on the platform where you will be taught by amazing master teachers thank you so much people it was a lovely 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 um talking about this particular topic which is one of my favorite thank you so much take care bye bye